Hey, what is up everyone? This is Private Mittens, and sorry about the late review, uh, video, it was supposed to be up yesterday. I'm going to be doing my Blu-ray anime collection, I will be doing the DVDs next week. A uh, few rules, no Disney, none of that shit, it's just straight up anime, so let's actually get started. Remember, this is just the Blu-ray set, the next one's going to be anime on DVD. So we have the second and first... Blu-ray sets of Black Lagoon, they do those, they fall out to, like, just a thing, but they're the complete sets of both series. Uh, I don't have the OVA one, which is actually based off the maid, I forgot her name. Um, one of the best animes I've seen, it's phenomenal. I don't know how much some of these cost, because they're really old, I've had them for years, so I can't really, I'm not going to go by the prices in these videos. So next we have an American import, that is Amagi Brilliant Park. Uh, it does work on my Blu-ray player because it's multi-region free. Uh, it's alright, it's it's not amazing but it's not terrible either. It's just okay. I bought it on a whim, so yeah. Uh, I'm not going to be obviously saying you know what they're about, let you watch them if you think they're interesting. So up next we have Girls in Panzer, or Girls in Panzer as it's actually called, but for some reason they put an A. Uh, this is straight up just fun. Nothing much to say, it's it's really fun to watch. I haven't bought the movie or the OVA, but they are releasing a second series, so I will eventually get around to getting the OVAs in the movie. So, up next we have, how did I just move that there? We have the entire set of Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I'll do it this first because there's like fucking five. Don't know why this didn't put a huge box in it. Uh, so see, uh, collection one. Collection two, which is sealed. I have watched this before, by the way. Haven't watched the uh, DVDs yet, but I have watched it online before. Three. Everyone's watched this series before. Is that five? No, that's four. I had to check there, I couldn't see, I haven't got my glasses on. <laughs> and there's five, which is also steel. This is a UK import because it's sold out the fifth season where I live for Brotherhood. And the movie, which, no, I didn't pay $32 for it, I actually paid $5 in a charity shop. Um, But someone had never opened it. So yeah. All the Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. Amazing anime. Definitely worth having in your collection. So up next we have the comic artist and his assistants. This I bought on a whim. You know. Because you know. That fan service. It's fucking boring. It really is. It's They could have made it really funny if they had have went further with the jokes. And you know. Made it longer. But it's, it's crap. It's not worth watching. Honestly. Um, so up next we have the movie, The Boy and His, uh, The Boy and the Beast, sorry. Uh, this is actually really good, I like this movie. I actually think this company is better than Ghibli. Yep, you heard me correctly. Um, really good movie, worth watching. I won't spoil anything, but, yeah, definitely gotta check it out, guys. And, on the topic of that company... We have Summer Wars, which is technically the real Digimon the movie, what it should have been. This is a phenomenal movie. It's actually one of my favorite movies I've got for anime. Um, yeah, utterly fantastic and one of the best movies for anime, in my opinion. So up next we have Paprika, one of the most popular anime movies of all time. It's good. It's te it's a technical marvel and it inspired Inception and all, but eh, it's it's okay. It's not the greatest. I just saying. So up next we have an American import, Nyankoi. This is not released anywhere else. I don't know what. Oh well, it's released in Japan, obviously, but not UK or Australia. So I had to import it. Um, it's fucking terrible. I watched it and I thought to myself, you had a really good idea going, but you fucked it up. And I'm not going to 
go into detail because I don't want to spoil any of these anime for you. I want you to go and watch them if you think they're interesting, as I stated. But yeah. So up next we have a classic, Ninja Scroll. Utterly phenomenal movie. Um, this actually got a lot of people into anime. Didn't get me into it, but it was definitely one of the earlier ones that I've watched. Um, yeah, I actually think this came with artwork as well. Yes, it did. I actually came with an art book to celebrate the anniversary of the movie. Um, but I'm pretty sure most people have watched Ninja Scroll. But anyway, moving on. Next we have Akira, arguably one of the greatest anime ever made. Um, yeah, this is the anniversary that comes with the art book as well. Um, phenomenal movie. Most people have watched it if they're into anime. Utterly phenomenal. Can't say much. It's, it's Akira. So moving on. We have another uh, movie by that company, uh, Wolf Children. Another good movie, but there's a few issues I have with the movie. Uh, Devil knows what they are. He's probably laughing. Um, but yeah, it's a good movie. Definitely not the best. It's definitely better than the worst, which you haven't guessed. You probably know what it is when it comes up. But definitely a good movie. Definitely worth having in your collection as well. These aren't in order, by the way, so I apologize. So next we have Tokyo Godfathers. A really... Really good anime for its time as well. Even watching it, re-watching it, should I say. It's held up really well. It's light-hearted. It doesn't take itself, you know, seriously. It tries to be, you know, warm, you know. No, I just said light-hearted, but it's, it tries to be, you know, family-friendly, should I say. But a really good anime nonetheless. And it's, it's worth checking out if you haven't seen it. So up next we have an anime that a lot of people praise the ass off. That's Toradora. I actually think this anime is not that great. Um, yeah, it's a complete series. And why is it so heavy? Um, yeah, not much to say. A lot of people that are interested in anime have probably seen this anime and clips of AMVs and that there. But uh, yeah, Toradora. It's, it's decent, but not that great. So up next we have another movie by this company, The Worst in my opinion, which is The Girl Who Left Free Time. Um, yeah, it had a cool premise, but it, it failed miserably. And every time someone brings this movie up, I, I, I really just groan and cringe. I do not like this movie. I got this for like next to nothing. I remember getting this for next to nothing because I had watched it previously. <laughs> And I thought, well, I'll have it just to have for the collection for the other ones by that company. So up next we have Genocidal Organ. Really good anime. Animation's amazing. The action scenes are phenomenal. But its story is a bit Metal Gear, tries to be anyway. Um, and the characters are just boring as shit. But... Just for action and animation alone, this is a really good movie. So yeah. Up next we have... Is it wrong to pick up a girl in a dungeon? God, that name. Really good anime. Really looking forward to the next season. When it actually comes. Uh, I really enjoyed this. Animation's really good. I like the characters. Um, I've not watched Sword Art Online, so I can't really say if it ripped it off, but... It does the whole, you know, online video game thing. But, yeah, it's really good nonetheless. Looking forward to season two, as I stated. So we're down to the last two of... Well, not last two, but last two, because there's two for each of them, should I say. It's Dragon Ball Super Volume 1 and Volume 2. It's like 15 episodes of disc, isn't it? No, 13, and the other one is 13, I'd take it. Yeah. Um... Don't like super at all. I got this for like five bucks at cash converters, hence why I've got it. So I thought, okay. All right, the second one. Didn't like it at all. I'll probably eventually get the others just to have because I'm a huge Dragon Ball Z fan. But yeah, I do not like Dragon Ball Super at all. I've stated that a lot of times to my friends that watch Dragon Ball. So last we have. The Evangelion 1 and 2 
rebuilds they're called i i hate these with so much passion i love evangelion but these rebuilds can fuck right off um yeah i haven't bought the third yet and the fourth supposed to be coming but yeah good animation but that's about it um yeah so that's all the anime that is animation that isn't Ghibli. So now we're going to do the Ghibli movies and then I will end the video to do the DVD ones for another time. So we have Whispers of the Heart. Um, yeah, I liked it. It's not the best, but it's I liked it nonetheless. Uh, when Marianne was there, this actually became... Uh, became sorry this actually became my favorite ghibli movie it's it's phenomenal um yeah really the frame right there really really good my neighbor totoro everyone knows this uh really good movie not the best but it is really good i enjoyed it the wind rises yeah, it's, it's crap. I don't know how the hell it says their final masterpiece. It was fucking terrible. Um, but yeah. Wind Rises. Uh, Tale of the Princess Kaguya. Really good. Like the animation, but there is some things that are... They could have done better, but I really... This isn't bad, to be honest. I really like the art style, I meant to say, not the animation. Uh, Lupin the Third, The Castle of Ca uh, Caglistrio. This is a Ghibli movie. It was actually helped by them, even though it technically isn't a Ghibli movie. But yeah, um, really good. So yeah, it's based off the really old series of you know Lupin. So yeah, um, The Cat Returns. Ah, uh, really good. It's not the greatest, but it is, you know, good nonetheless. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have a lot of different opinions on these movies and others. Uh, Tales of R.C., I think this is the worst Ghibli movie. Uh, yeah, it's crap. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't like that movie. Uh, Spirited Away, if anyone has ever watched a Studio Ghibli movie, it's usually this. Uh, it is a really, really good movie, but I don't think it's the greatest that other people have claimed it to be. But it is good nonetheless. So up next we have Princess Mononoke. One of the best movies they've ever made. Um, it is actually really, really good. I would recommend if you're going to watch any of them first, watch this. Um, yeah. Ponyo, or The Little Mermaid, should I say, because that's what it is, with Liam Neeson. Uh, yeah. So, I really enjoyed this movie. I, it's not really much to say, it's The Little Mermaid, essentially. Um, yeah. Uh, Pompoko. This is actually quite funny. It, it surprised me when I first saw it. Um, yeah. There's a fucking balls hanging down there. Uh, yeah, it's, it's quite a good movie. It's worth watching if you haven't seen it before. Porco Rosso. This is very underrated by a lot of people. They seem to push this one aside over some of the others. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's not the best. It could have been better, but I enjoyed it for what it was. Only yesterday. Um, I didn't like this. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, yeah. Not much to say there. Nasukoi Val- uh, Nasukoi of the Valley of the Wind, should I say? Um, this is really good. This is a really well 
put together Ghibli movie. And I mean by story wise structure. Um, yeah, definitely worth watching if you haven't seen that one. My name is the Yamadas. This should have been a full feature where it actually had a story base to it, not just, you know, little situations the family is in. Very similar to other animes, which you'll see when I do the DVD. But I enjoyed this. I really enjoyed this. And I think this gets really, it gets pushed aside and never mentioned at all. It's definitely better than some of the other movies in there that they've got. So we have Laputa Castle in the Sky. Uh, this is one with Mark Hamill in it, I think. Yeah, it is. Um, I thought this was shit. I really did. I liked the animation, and once again, Mark Hamill just didn't do a good job. I honestly think he, he does a good job when he's... Should I say when he's trying? I know that makes no sense, considering anyone would do a good job if they try, but... Yeah, he, it wasn't his best performance. It's an okay movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, Kiki's Delivery Service. I think this is uh, Devil's Favorite Movie, if I'm not mistaken, from Ghibli. Um, I enjoyed this. I think it's a really good movie as well. It's, it's a witch movie. That's all I'm saying. It's really good. Almost to the end, guys. Uh, Hyle's Moving Castle. This was the first Ghibli movie I ever saw. I think it's really good. I don't think it's as perfect. But I do enjoy it, and I've got a nostalgic spot for it, as it is the first movie of theirs I saw. Grave of the Fireflies. Okay, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be frank with everyone here. I thought this movie was boring as shit. I really did. And someone's gonna say in the comment, "Oh, you know, oh, you, you fucking, you're an asshole. It's supposed to be sad." Nah, it's it's. I thought it'd be boring. They could have done a better job, but whatever. <laughs> Done to the last two. From up on Poppy Hill. Uh, it was okay. Best play our way of putting it. I, I enjoyed some of the parts of the story, but I think it could have been better. But it's not the worst, as I stated. Now we're down to the last one here. And the last one is Ariadne. Or the borrowers is what it's based off. Um, this is really good. This actually was my favorite Ghibli movie until I watched when Marianne was there. Um, so yeah, it tells you how much I like this movie as well. So other than that, I have two Blu-ray anime that came with games, but that's a whole different story. But yeah, that's all my Blu-ray anime. Uh, DVD, there's like four times more than this. I'm not even joking. But uh, yeah. So that's my anime. I thought I'd do a video because I did state I would do it sometime. Hope you enjoyed the Blu-ray one. You'll definitely enjoy the anime one because there's a lot more and better anime in it. And it's not taken up by me, uh, you know, mostly Ghibli. So yeah, this is Private Mittens. I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And stay tuned for the DVD one next week. Take care and see you later. Bye.